Yo, hey, what is up, guys? It's Sin. And today I'm going to be unboxing and uh, first impressioning a product that I'm actually pretty excited about. This is the Rocap Burst Pro. And some people said it's similar to an XM1. Now, a lot of people know my opinion on the XM1. In my opinion, it is the golden standard for a mouse. Everything about it is just great, from the coating to the shape to the cable itself. It is the best non-paracord cable that you can get on a stock mouse. And Rockat has um, done a couple innovations since their KPU release, like make adding a paracord-esque cable. I want to check it out. I want to see how it compares to the XM1. People said the shape is also similar. Uh, I'm not too sure uh, from like the image I see here and having the XM1. I don't feel like it's going to be the same, especially since the sides look a lot straighter. On the Burst Pro. <clears throat> I also heard it's kind of like an S2 shape. I am not too sure about that either. So um, yeah, we're we're just we're gonna see. So let's let's get into the unboxing. Oh yeah, that's it. so yeah. The box is actually quite small. It's kind of like in between a a Logitech Copter mouse uh, and a Viper mini box, which is quite small. So, yeah, that's about it. Uh, oh, it came with extra skates. And the skates are blue. What? Oh, that's actually pretty cool. Let me check the mouse out. Let's check these out. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's actually pretty cool. They come with um, extra skates. Now, I don't know how good these skates are and if it's actually worth uh, using or not, but we'll check it out. It also comes with... um quick insulation guide i don't think anyone really needs that um however the skates these extra skates are pretty nice because some people are gonna want to paracord their mouse and uh, in the process ruin their skates so ha like you know including extra ply costs some next to nothing and it's actually a very good move thank you rocat so let's take the mouse out of its cave Oh, look at that. It also has blue feet. Huh. <laughs> Let's remove it from its cover. And that is the Burst Pro. Oh, wow. These clicks are so... Mm. Um, I don't really know if I like the clicks. It's so stiff. And not very clicky. Like, the only experience that I could, you know, uh, compare this to is, like, pressing an elevator button? <laughs> I don't really know. It's not... Huh. Oh, yeah. The XM1's clicks are definitely crispier. Shape-wise as well, the back is... Huh. Alright, so let me just take the paracord out. And let's check how good this cable is. Alright. Yeah, so the XM1's cable is still a bit better than the, than the Rocat Burst Pros. Alright, let me... T and this is the Viper Mini's cable. This is an actual paracord. Yeah, so an actual paracord is going to be tremendously better than both of these like not tremendously of course but it's gonna be quite a bit better than both of these cables but i think the xm1's cable wins also this cable's kind of like navy blue rather than completely black which i find pretty cool so the skates the skates have uh protection on them make sure to remove them oh that's why it's blue <laughs> i'm retarded um yeah it's to to indicate that they actually have protection on them and like this cover, if I could take it out. So let's test these skates. So yeah, they definitely need to be broken in. They're quite scratchy in their current state. However, uh, I'm gonna make um, an XM1 versus Burst Pro video in a bit, just to make sure you know that I can, after a after like a couple weeks of using this mouse, tell you how I feel about it. Let's see how the RGB looks. So the RGB is like illuminating from the honeycomb design. 
that's inside of the mouse. This mouse is around, um, I think they said it's about 68 grams. And I think it feels a tad bit lighter than the XM1, though I'm not too sure. And um, weights tend to, you know, change based on, you know, the what scale people use and shit. So, uh, and I, I sadly don't have a scale, so I can't really test it right now. But um, yeah, this mouse is around 68 grams, which is pretty light. And in my opinion, what the god weight around 70 grams should be pretty good. The sensor is a 3389 with a bunch of jargon that Rocap put on it. It's 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 a good sensor like using it now. I honestly just can't really help tell you the difference. I don't think there's a lot of DPI deviation as well, which is pretty cool. Oh, I still don't like the click so. I don't get why these clicks are like this. It's it doesn't really sound that nice either. And yeah, those are both of the clicks. The coating, oh, that coating is really nice. It's it's a lot grippier than the XL1s, especially the sides. Now it's probably not gonna want to focus because my camera isn't the great. However, there's there's this certain texture on the side. Oh, okay. There's a certain texture on the side which kind of adds a lot of extra grip, which is pretty nice. The scroll wheel is. A lot, you know, easier to move than the XM1 scroll wheel, and it actually feels it actually feels nicer than the XM1 scroll wheel. Now, uh, I can't really comment on the shape because you have to use something quite a while. But from what I can tell you right now, um, I do get where people come from this with like the you know the XM1 shape. It's mostly because of the back hump, I guess. Um, let me show you like this side by side comparison. It's a front comparison. The the Burst Pro definitely has straighter sides, as you can see right here. And the XL1 has a lot curvier sides. And other than that, uh, the, the back is also quite a bit wider on the Rocap Burst Pro. And it kind of feels weird as well. I don't know why, but like holding the mouse. The back part kind of just cuts into my thing. I also had this issue with the XM1. However, it kind of fixed itself after a while. And I also kind of mm -hmm. tightly sanded down the sharp edge over here. I don't get why companies love to add a sharp edge. But the sharp edge is also present on the Rocap Burst Pro. And when I, you know, she claw grip this mouse, I can feel the edge. And other than that, the shape, shape is actually pretty nice. Um, I wouldn't recommend this mouse for people who have small hands. So I would say this it's about the same hand size as the XM1, which is around uh, 18 by 9. If you have anything lower than 18 by 9 hands, I wouldn't recommend the Burst Pro because it's just not going to be your mouse. You're not going to enjoy it. So yeah, that's about it for my first, you know, um, unboxing video and my first impression video. Thank you for watching.